Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds among heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. The executioner is assured that tonight is his night. That is as confident of a ring walk as you will ever see. Kid Dynamite's coming to the ring right now. We know what he offers up once he's inside the ropes, but not much intensity here in this ring walk. The Executioner! And his opponent across the ring, Kid Dynamite! Okay guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch the ball. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. This is a 10-rounder. A solid uppercut by the executioner. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Kid Dynamite's punch is far. And now the ref gets involved and warns him for headbutting. The executioner's left, working well that time. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. A solid, true uppercut by the Executioner. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Hooks on the inside. Good flush shot by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's proving to be elusive. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Great movement to get away from those punches. Kid Dynamite's resting up after a round in where he was so very accurate. And Teddy, if you want to have one single quality out there as an offensive fighter, accuracy is among the ones you want to have. Yeah, and to be accurate, that means you have to be calm. And you have to be smart that you know that you're putting the punches in certain specific places for a reason. And boxing is not just about the strongest guys. It's supposed to be, and it usually is, about the smartest guys. Two is underway. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. The executioner isn't giving us anything to talk about right here, Teddy. He's not moving, he's not boxing, he's not fighting. Well, 75% of this business is mental. And you would love to know mentally what's going on in his mind right now. Not much. 
Oh, veteran move. Counter shot to the head. The Executioners. Mac by a left hand. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the executioner. Digging in with a left to the gut. Flipping him with that uppercut. Big shot by the executioner. Crashes home with a hook. Kid Dynamite's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Right to the head with that right. Good step back counter punch there. What impact from that uppercut by the executioner. Last 10 seconds. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Kid Dynamite's corner men have been with him for quite some time. They know exactly what to say to hit upon those key points to encourage him a little bit, to give him a little bit of a boost after coming off a round that was less than stellar. He got tagged in that last round. Now breathe for me. Now listen. Do a wide punch and he caught you. So tighten up your punches, all right? Tighten them up. All the eyes are on him to start this round. The executioner's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but... He's been here before, he's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. A stinging uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Jab and a straight right by Kid Dynamite. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Kid Dynamite. Mix it up, mix it up. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Targeting that overhand left. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by the executioner. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Scored well up top. Smart counter punch by Kid Dynamite. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Successfully targeting the head. That was well done by the executioner. Fires off the hook, look at that. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Kid Dynamite. Stick close to this guy. Yeah. Don't let him get too far from you. I want you to move in and hit. Start of round number four. A chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. The executioner is completely missing the jab, and when that's not there, 
Oh, you didn't dug yourself a big hole. No, that's like saying I want to go swimming. Guess what? There's no water. <laughs> you need water to swim. You need jab to fight, to set things up. Scores with the uppercut. Nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. Keep it going. Doing well on the outside. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good biting, snapping shot by Kid Dynamite. Halfway through this round here. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kid Dynamite. Oh, no. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Well-placed hook. Kid Dynamite's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Best combination in the game, jab with the straight. That's a good left hand by Kid Dynamite. Doing very nicely, staying way out of range of danger and utilizing his jab. And usually he's a guy, if we were talking about basketball, he's a guy who likes to be in the paint, hit some layups, do a little dunking. Hey, he's got a jump shot. You're in control, so take your time. Nice, good work, kid. I want to see you double up now. Who's in this fight? You gotta pick it up, you hear me? You gotta pick it up. Listen, I need to see some consequences, okay? Whenever he misses, you got to count. Him. Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Come on, the executioners left now getting into the mix. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Kid Dynamite. The executioner is now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. He scored well after being hit himself. Effective with that one-two. Comes right back at him with a left hand. The executioner is able to avoid that punch. Little head knocking with that right hand. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. You're letting this thing get away from us, champ. Come on now, this is it. You gotta make the fight right now. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body. Let's go. 
Uh, he's done. He's done. I want you to double up that jab. through this fight as this round gets underway here but interesting so far who knows what we're in store for down the stretch nice block back and forth they go each man getting the best of it kid dynamite's doing good damage with the combination punching well right there's a good example of the benefit of combination punching you miss the first or the second the third and the fourth they land nice work to the midsection with the left Putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Kid Dynamite's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. <laughs> Able to land the hook to the head. The Executioner is getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. Good return fire that time. Kid Dynamite's doing really well on the outside. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Left hand came after the jab. Easy to see, easy to score, clean and effective punching by Kid Dynamite. As this fight has gone deeper and deeper, that has been the great divide between these two. Yeah, it's like painting by the numbers. I mean, it's all been laid out there. Very simple, very effective. Go oh, out there. starts up again but it's only favored one man hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far little volume punching to the body there move it, move it. making away a body shot with the right hand that is a sharp uppercut by the executioner How about that exchange? Kid Dynamite's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. A good block halfway through the seventh round. Kid Dynamite showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. The Executioner's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand, it's really costing them a lot here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timers would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. Really brought at that time a four-punch combination. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the seventh.
And that's the end of round seven. Big punch now, champ. No doubt about it. You're losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot and knock this guy out. Don't get careless, okay, please. Don't get careless. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Good, good, nice work. Listen, I want you to go downstairs, then up here. Start of round number eight right here. Teddy, this is very much a one-sided fight. Maybe the opponent's best chance is to go back to history. Lamada and Dotiel. Lamada was so far behind going into the last round that he had no shot except by a knockout. And what he did was he played possum a little bit. He shook his legs a little bit, went back towards the rope, and he got Dotiel to come in, get a little careless. Bang, he pulled it out. Kid Dynamite's really bringing a lot behind that uppercut. Teddy, how much of a factor is the lower body in landing that power shot? Well, it's everything, really. It's kind of like being a golf player where you get all your talk with that swing where you put your hips into it, so the, the hips are going into that. The executioners rock. Look at that. Not a good sign. He goes to the canvas for the first time tonight. to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you Deep teach work. a guy if Deep you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive the executioners landed a good solid combination the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Come the on, executioner is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Kid Dynamite's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. And we come to the end of the round. I think even the casual observer, the guy who doesn't watch a lot of boxing, can look at this right now and tell you he's winning this fight with ease. I'm worried about the so-called professional judge. Time and time again, he showed me that he does not know what he's watching sometimes. But you're right. In this case, it would be hard, almost impossible, to argue for the other fighter. The ninth round is here. The executioner's got to rely on his corner now to do what it takes to get him back physically and mentally. It's always a challenge when you've hit the ground. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. The executioner is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Kid Dynamite's defense is paying off now. Zoning in with the overhand left. 
He has reached that point in the fight where his only chance is to cash in and hit Lotto here. He needs that grand slam, that big knockout punch, doesn't he? Yeah, and he doesn't have... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. Look at that combination by Kid Dynamite. Good right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Kid Dynamite's nose is starting to bleed. And he returns on that exchange. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Certain things, Avatine, Adrenaline, and Thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. This is it. Last round. No need to get into a brawl with this guy, okay? That's what he wants. No round stands proud. What you got to do? Beyond the normal line, it seems to hide. Beyond all the ones. Him and stereotypes. Both this and no stereo. This is my life. One of the days. This is round number 10, scheduled for 10. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good, now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. Big, big shot comes crashing home from Absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world. He just floored him with that punch. Short one, maybe six inches. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Kid Dynamite's got to be really careful here, Teddy, that I has gotten to a point where this fight could be stopped at any time. Well, the key is that it's above the eye, so of course it's impairing the vision. The blood, when it trickles down, he can't see. And that's what the referee's going to be looking for. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Kid Dynamite. Oh! He is leveled. How could he possibly get up from that? He's not going to. This fight's over. It's over.
So here we are, late in the fight, just coasting along, and then that happens. And that's exactly why it happened, because he was coasting along. Everybody was comfortable. Everybody thought nothing big is going to happen. We're going to wrap it up. And that's when something like this does happen. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.